Hallelujah. Welcome to Faith and Grace Life. And this is day 19 of our walk of faith and grace. And I pray that we will not fall by the wayside. In this year 2020 and this new decade, the Lord Himself will keep us to the end by His grace. And we receive the grace to live by faith. The Bible says, the just shall live by faith. In this year, you will walk by faith, you will live by faith, and you will not depend on the flesh. Hallelujah. We are trying to look at the difference between grace and the law. Because the Bible says we are no more under the law, but under the grace. In fact, this dispensation is a dispensation of grace. And we started looking at this different. What makes grace better than the law? Yesterday we said grace operates by faith. Grace is based on faith. Whereas law is based on works. You have to walk. You have to do something. But in faith, in grace, you just believe in what Christ has done. Christ has done everything. You only need to believe and receive. But under law, you have to walk to receive anything. Amen. But today we want to look at another advantage of grace over the law. We have mentioned this before. Now we say grace justifies sinful men. Grace justifies sinful men. But the law cannot justify anybody. That is, the law cannot make any man just or righteous. Hallelujah. Let's, you know, look at the scripture again to, to, to support our point. Why grace, you know, justifies sinful men. In verse 16 of the book of Galatians, chapter 2, it says, that is verse 16. We look at verse 16 and 17. And we also look at chapter 3, verse 11. The scripture will tell us more about grace being our justifier. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Christ Jesus. In other words, law cannot justify. There's nothing you can do under the law that can make you justified. Even we uh, believe in Christ Jesus that we might be justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law, no flesh shall be justified. In other words, there is no way, there is nothing, there is no work you can do under the law that can justify you. Hallelujah. Let's look at one more uh, verse. Again, verse 17. Say, but if while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners. Is Christ therefore a minister of sin? Certainly not. So you can see what Apostle Paul is trying to emphasize there is, once you are justified, you know, by grace, grace continues to teach you not to sin. Because you cannot be justified by grace, you know, and continue to sin. We have we have looked at that in the previous, I mean, messages that look, <laughs> you can't continue in sin that grace may abound. Once you are justified by grace, grace begins to teach you also, because we say grace is our teacher. We learn that from the book of Titus. You know, you can't be a sinner and be justified by grace. That means Jesus Christ is a minister of you know, sinners. No. Jesus Christ is not, um, uh, it's not like that. It's not a minister of sin. So, I want us to take note of that. Let's look at chapter 3, verse 11. Whereby you can see that, look, there's no way law can justify you. Verse 11 says, But that no one is justified by the law in the sight of God is evident. Why? For the just shall live by faith. Amen. So even this an Old Testament statement by Prophet Habakkuk. The just shall live by faith. 
In other words, there is no way you can be justified by the law. Hallelujah. There is no place it is written that the just shall live by law. I mean, can be justified by the law. No. So I want to encourage you to try and take advantage of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, and because that's the only way you can be justified. Glory to God. Tomorrow we'll be looking at another benefit, another reason why we are no more under the law, but under grace. Hallelujah. Please join me tomorrow as we continue this series. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Hallelujah.